I know that there's a lot of work to do on climate. We need to see the Biden-Harris administration rejoin the Paris Climate Agreement with stronger ambitions. We need them to reverse over a hundred climate policies that the Trump administration destroyed. We need them to phase out fossil fuels and transition us to a renewable economy that creates millions of jobs for all of us. I'm most excited about their, uh, their movement towards climate change and the reaction that they're going to do to put in some kind of new deal. We're coming to the point of no return. And I know that things might get worse if Biden doesn't start the process of trying to rebuild, you know, renewable energy, essentially. We need to not put money towards that wall and just break it down. And really, we need to help a lot of our immigrants. Uh, that's what makes up America. I think climate justice is probably the most important thing in the long term. Healthcare access in the short term, those things are going to be very difficult for them to do without a big push from activists and grassroots organizations. We know also not to depend on the federal level for everything and city, local organizing, state organizing is going to be where it's at from here on out. Feel comfortable going out at night and my friends being comfortable going out at night and not feeling attacked so we feel safe around the police that they'll protect us and not harm us. Dismantling the criminal justice system is really important to me as a public defender. You know Biden does not have a good track record in that area but I'm hopeful that we can push him um, now that there is such a strong movement. I want the Biden Harris administration to listen to know that this is bigger than them. I think there's this really weird idea of political leadership where you have the administration that leads the people. We're talking about a movement that already exists that you have to catch up to.